And you now get all your bonuses. Hey. Multi-attack. Hooray! Fireball. Once I get the component. Make sure I gotta give everything counter spell. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all the cool kids have counter spell anyway. Actually, some of them particularly will have counter spell soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. so you guys wake up. I say you wake up uh, a couple of hours before uh, noon. Uh, Finian is not in the room. Uh, as you guys go downstairs, uh, see a few people dotted around in the. Make sure I might as well change the map back. Dotted around in the living area. Barkeep is behind the bar as he normal. Cern is at the front desk like she normally is. Uh, she's currently in the middle of eating. But uh, Finian is nowhere to be seen. Barkeep, have you seen Finian this morning? Barkeep looks at you. Oh, the, the little elf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was there earlier. He went out about an hour ago. Um, uh, Nygrax chat. Is Nygrax close enough to hear this? Uh, yeah, I say, yeah. You'll all be down at this point. Uh, he chimes in. Did he happen to say where he was going? He uh, mentioned he was going to try to do some shopping. That was all. Nygrax uh, goes, kind of opens his mouth to ask something else, but then thinks uh, better of it. He decides to just. Uh, sit down and uh, be along with his thoughts for a bit. Yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys have your normal uh, well, meal that you normally have at the start. Coffee. Uh, right off the bat. Forgot how much I'm bloody charging for that stuff. Huh. It, a bit of silver. Yeah, that's right. Silver each. If you don't know the price, it's free. <laughs> the barkeep looks at you with a dead flat pad look. Two silver. It's that two silver each, Dim? Yep. Uh, shoot a slightly annoyed glance at Simi because Nagrax doesn't usually have money and he's now having to use more of it. <laughs> it wasn't a great jest. <laughs> Are you both alright this morning? I'm sorry, my actions last night could have cost us quite dearly. I was the one that ran in to save the poor boy. Didn't quite go as well as I'd hoped. He didn't really take the hint. I think I've still got a mark from that creature of his. I might creak in my neck. Did you talk to the guildmaster after I discussed matters with him last night? I Admittedly, I just went off to try and find Finian. We do not speak of the events that happened, no. I, I will inform that, Max. Oh, we found some sapphires that... Well, shards of sapphire that we thought might have been used to summon the hydras. Really? That's interesting. W where did you find them? A few feet. Just to the southeast. South-southeast. Could have been someone in the crowd. They could have blended in as they ran. We'll never know who cast that. It would seem that the, if we want to speculate, it could probably have been a, a cult member trying to further incriminate uh, the warlocks and tieflings of this town by waiting until a moment where they're perturbed and then just showing how deadly their retaliation could be. I just, I just hope that fellow got away with his life. Let's hope so. Anyway, I had a brainwave in my sleep last night. I'd like to go shopping for some new spell components. If anyone has any objections. Uh, no, no. I mean, I believe that Finian was out shopping. There's probably a couple of errands that I need to attend to myself. So, yes, Flint, I'll accompany you. Certainly. Doogie. Where do you guys go, and what are you looking for? I say you generally uh, go outside, look around, 
the Hydra bodies have been moved. The ground is still somewhat disturbed, but it looks like efforts have been made to try and repair some of the damage that was done to it. Okay. I'd like to head over to the market district. Okay. Everyone go in there together? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, where are you approaching from? Uh, the north or the west? I assume from the north since we're coming from the field horns. Okay, dokie. I was just uh, in the top of the northeast corner, right? Uh, yes. You guys uh, start to make your way towards the market ta market area, sorry. And as you get on the edge of it before entering into the main area, um, Nagax roll perception for advantage. I go saw perception with an advantage. Okay. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. As you're walking around, you're scanning the crowds generally, and your eyes suddenly catch Finian. He is moving down the streets away from you guys, so you actually catch him from behind. Does Finian see and... us? No, his back's to you. His back's to me. Uh. As you see him moving down the streets, uh, you see a group of three people stand out in front of him. He looks up at them and tries to move around. They're all elves. Uh, as he tries to move, they move with him. One mm. of them pushes him on the shoulder and seems to say something to him. When you say pushes him on the shoulder, I... is this aggressive or...? Yeah. Can right. I hear what they say? Um, what I'll do is, no. upon seeing this, I will draw my I'll draw Flint and uh, is Simeon with us? Yep. Yeah, I draw the attention to what's going on over there and I start to move towards the gang if it seems like they're attacking him. Okay. Uh as you get pro closer you see them starting to push him around uh, back and forth. Uh, he's got a bundle in his arms that he's just trying to hold to him. He's not being aggressive towards them, he's just trying to get away. And they're starting to circle around him. I think what I'll do is I don't I'll push wait, him wait. And just sort oh, okay. of whip my arm around him once. Finny and my boy, there you are, and just sort of pull him out of the crowd, paying them no mind. But like putting my back to him. As you do that, uh, one of them speaks up. Who's this? This your protector. I'll turn. Who am who am I? What are you, brain dead lad? I am Simeon the Slayer. Have you not heard of me? And I protect all. Uh, the one that spoke will s sneer at you. And then you'll see a, a second pair of arms rise up over his shoulders. And they'll try to push you away. I'll grab him. Can I yeah, grab him? There'll be an opposed strength either way. Uh, roll your strength. Do I have to? Uh, by the way, the arms give advantage, so... 24. <laughs> um, the arms grasp you by the shoulder and they fling you to the side away from Finian. Uh, only one of them has the arms out. The other two are just have their arms folded. I'd like to step in and try and speak in Elvish. Look, we don't want to fight. We just want to know what's going on with our friend here. What's wrong? Has the little weakling run off crying? Have you mastered your arms yet? Finian will look down and try to move away again, but when the arms will grasp his shoulder. What's Am wrong? I... Did Uncle's beatings not help at all? Am I out of sight of these guys now? Uh, no, you've basically been shoved to the side, so you just stumbled. You're still on your feet. Are they paying any attention to me? One of them at the back is, but the main one that's talking is not. His gaze is fixed on Finian. Uh, Doom, how close is Nagrax? I'd say you're all quite close. Am I close enough to touch Finian? Yeah. Right, um, as I hear this, I will say to Finian, touching him, giving him guys, Finian, I'm truly sorry for last night, but you can beat these people. I believe in you, as do we all. No, 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 because we don't want to start a fight. You also have to get quite a bit of attention around you at the moment. I mean, yeah, the, Nagrax doesn't care. This is pretty emotive for him. He feels quite guilty. 
we've all seen Finian. We've seen Finian and Zams in action. We know what they can do. He doesn't have to prove anything to these guys. I mean, Nagrax yeah. is just saying this more to kind of defend himself rather than to kill these guys. Well, Finian can say Finian that as he wants. He's looking down. He's clutching uh, the parcels of his chest a bit. And... Oh, that's true. Um, um, Explosive that... force suddenly back, uh, basically erupts from Finian. He pushes uh, each of the three elves back about 10 feet, but the arms don't appear. They seem off guard for a second, and then suddenly the main one they've been speaking sneers. See, he still can't do it, the pathetic weakling. They start laughing, and with that, Finian just starts to try and move away. He walks past you, Nagrax, and starts heading back towards the guild. With him leaving, the elves lose interest in you three. Yeah. And they move back into the marketplace, and the crowd starts to disperse. Is there an elvish equivalent of a C word? Say something elvish. Give me a speaker to just say something that sounds elvish. And I'll make something up. <laughs> uh, nah, I can't think of anything now. <laughs> I, I will want to insult them? Or... No, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. I think it would. Uh, Finian's pride for annoying me. I would probably. If you kind of move to speak, I'd probably put my hand out in front of you. Yeah. <sighs> Can we see where Finny went? He generally walked back towards the guild hall. Finny, we've got plenty more shopping to do. Do you fancy joining us? I try and shout over to him. He doesn't respond. He just keeps walking. I guess not. Uh... Sorry for future elves. I think it's best to link him be for now. Yes, Blint, I... I, I I agree. Uh, with that, uh, Nagrax will kind of face away from the elves and just uh, follow behind Flint. Okay. Adam, what are you shopping for? I am looking for like a magical component shop. Oh, a pet shop, I guess. A pet shop? What type of pet shop? One that sells pets. <laughs> uh, are there are other types of pet shops. Well, I mean, bear in mind it's a fancy setting, so you're gonna have like something that will have, uh, yeah, there'll be one that was trading dogs. There'll be something that'll trade for horses and livestock. Uh, flying pets. No. No. Excuse me. The golden apple. Is there any, is there any like, magical component shop or like? Yes, there are various ones, and you've already been to at least one. I've forgotten the name. So do I. I'm going to call it the Elsa's Bits. It sounds somewhat right. Well, I would like to go there first. Okay, okay. Are you entering into the shop? Um, an old woman greets you as you enter. Oh, hello there. How may I help um, you, dearie? Hello, I'm, I'm looking for um, two things. A components pouch and a ball of guano with sulfur infused. Ooh, a components pouch. Ooh, we've got plenty of them, don't worry about that. Let's look at prices, burn me a second. And back guano, was it? Yeah. Well, guano, I just automatically assume that's parts. That's cheap. Okay. Uh, she rummages around and she produces a components pouch and well, several different components pouches. I'll say they're all more or less the same thing. What particular type of components pouch are you after, I suppose? Didn't realize there was different types. I just want to hold all my 
Supplies for spell casting. Okay then. Uh, she gestures towards a jar that's basically full of black guano. And that'll be um, five silver for a chunk. Um, and it'll be... Uh, that'll be 25 gold pieces for the component pack. Is there any sulfur? Sulfur I can use. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Uh, she starts rummaging around behind the counter. Rummage, rummage, rummage. It does specify if it's black guano and sulfur. And all the others had it come straight away. Why do I have to go into something for this one? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say it's going to be five silver again, just say we go through all these different things. So, ten silver and twenty-five gold for it all. Ten silver and twenty-five gold? Yes. All right, then I'd like to hand that over. Okay, okay, she takes the uh, money off you quite happily and hands you over all your stuff. Oh yes, thank you, dearie. And let me know if you have any other little bits and pieces you need. I will do. I don't suppose you could point me in the direction of a shop that sells a magical magical staves. Magical staves? Hmm. Actually, you already know of a shop that does that kind of thing. It, it was only once, wasn't it? Actually, that's a fair point. I'll say next door to that one, you saw a staff shop. Mm. <laughs> Just a reason to shake. Fair enough. Uh, should we be heading there next? Yeah, I found the lady for the abilities. Okie dokie. Like as we're walking towards there, I might mix in a piece of back guana with a sulfur. Okie dokes. And you enter into the new shop. Can't be bothered naming it. So what do you want to buy? <laughs> I'd like to browse the staffs available. Okie dokie. You would say that, wouldn't you? I'm going to yeah. look up staffs. <laughs> I just want to annoy you. If anyone else is buying anything, do you think through it now whilst I'm looking up stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you see a lot of uh, basic staffs which actually don't have any enchantments in them. Um, you do, however, find a staff of charming. Uh, staff of striking and the staff of the python. Hmm. I'm just musing over these stuff. Staff of striking, did you say? Uh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. All these look like quite fine stamps. Can I see where the um, store owners are? Oh, stuck. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, oh, fuck now. Okay, uh, you've got um, much like in the one shop, you've got two old women. Hello, how can I help you? Hello. How much are these lovely stuffs over here? Oh, the stuffs, the stuffs, the stuffs. Hmm. Just... Ethel, is that price right? Ethel. Sure that price is not right. Give me a second, I'll actually try and find the price to see if that is right <laughs> what I just saw. 
if not, you're not going to be able to afford it. <laughs> no. A lot. Pretty sure it's wrong, but I'll quit. Quick check. That can't be right, surely. Apple was getting really confused, it seems. <laughs> it seems so, yes. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm. Apparently it is. Wow. That is expensive. Oof. Ah, yes, you see the um, staff is striking over there. That will cost you about um, 15,000 gold. Smidge out of our mage. Um, Staff of Charming, that will cost you around 8,000 gold. That's a bit more affordable for the young wizard to be. Still bringing his face up. There we go. Jeez, I don't, I don't know how long we've spent uh, in technical difficulties mode there. Probably longer than I would have liked, personally. The bouncing llama. What'd I say? The bouncing llama. Why do you play the video clip? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, note to self, get the bouncing llama as an actual <laughs> scene rather than just a video I use for one of my episodes. Uh, anyway, I have no idea what we were doing. I've completely lost my train of thought. Uh, shopping. I was trying to buy a staff that was like... Very, very expensive. Yes, yes, that's what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. You got the staff of the adder, though. Oh, staff of Cobra, whatever I said it was. Same thing. Deal out of my price range. Uh, the old woman looks a bit miffed. Yeah. Mm. I wasn't aware staffs were so expensive. You, um... Well, um... You can buy a stick if you'd like. Would like to buy a stick? One gold. I have a very big stick. I just have my stuff on my back. Ah, but that's not so good. Look at this one right here. It's made out of nice uh, willow. See the little engravings up here? Yes, it's very nice. Would you like to give it a try? Can I tell looking at it if it's just a stick or not? Roll investigation. Actually, looking at uh, roll twenty. It's a stick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can see clearly that's just a stick. Uh, she I... boops you in the nose of it. Well, you can feel free to get out then. Boop. Boop. Come back when you have gold. Hey, merchants, don't mess around. Leave a stone. I don't think I'll be returning. Uh, Ethel, you have a problem with the prices. Get the gun. I said this as as we left the shop. Well, when we left the shop. She was standing in the doorway. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, okay. What else do you guys look to buy? But you're in the marketplace. I think I've taken oh. up enough for our time, guys. Anything you two want? Uh, Nagrak seems deep in thought right now, so uh, do, do you want to do anything, Simeon? Mean? I want to find a potion shop. Okie dokie. I know there's uh, one by the spire. I don't know if it's... I said there's going to be a... Give you knows at least one. You find up finding another one. Uh, what sort of potions are you looking for? Healing! Okie dokie. Let me just remind myself of the things. Okie dokie. Um, so you enter into a little shop. It's not the halfling shop. It's a different one. Not halfling, sorry, gnome shop. Not that one. 
Uh, you greeted by human. Uh, good evening. Uh, what can I do you with today? Oh, greetings. I wonder if you have any uh, any potions that would uh, improve our health in a pinch. Hmm, well, I have some nice superior potions, if you'd be interested in those. Somewhat, What's your though. price range, superior? Oh, I thought that was like the name of a potion. <laughs> what is your price range you are looking for? Oh, I... I have a few gold here and there. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can come up with the funds. A superior potion will cost you um, uh, two thousand gold. Hmm. Wow. Inflation is high in this city. Yeah. It may take me a while to uh, gather such uh, funds. We do have some uh, lesser ones as well. If you might be interested. Uh, we have some uh, greater Possibly. healing potions. They will run you 200 gold. Hmm. If you want anything um, cheaper than that, I'm afraid you'll have to try the uh, Shop by the Spire. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. What other potions do you have uh, available here? Oh, we have anything that would uh, would would aid in battle. <laughs> Wait a minute, must I find the list? I don't like the way you're smiling to yourself. <laughs> A couple of thousand. Per sip. Well, we could uh, possibly um, let's see. Um, I don't know if it'll be so much some use in battle, but we have potions of uh, dim diminution. Would they be of interest to you? I don't know what that word means. Potions of what? Um, now? Basically, they reduce the effects of enlarge and reduction spells for a period of time and uh, we have reduced. potions of giant strength um potions of growth and a potion of poison if you'd like to for some reason poison yourself i won't ask any questions <laughs> uh i have alcohol for that <laughs> this uh, also got, uh potions of speed as well oh being faster is certainly useful in the battlefield. What uh, what sort of price prices are we talking here? Uh, the diminution will cost you uh, two hundred gold apiece. Um, da -da -da -da. Push your speed will be 300 apiece. Uh, uh, the giant strength varies, but the starting price is going to be 300. Um, what's your price range generally for these ones as well? Do you have any use for uh, precious gems? Perhaps we could uh, trade. Oh, yes, I, I can buy them a few gems. Um, what do you have to offer? Oh, yes. I'll, I'll draw out. I guess I've just got them all together in a pouch or something. I'll pull it out. Like... Oh, yes. Um, uh, let me have a look here. I have what some. What are you going to offer him? I will. How much did you say the healing potions were? Like, they're not the 2,000 ones. The greater ones were 200. 200. Alright, uh, I'm interested in that giant strength potion. I mean, I gave you a company statue. 
Um, Maybe up to Doom. Yeah, it should be good now. Oh, well, wait. Doom, no. Doom, oh, there, okay. There he is. There he is. Mm. This episode is Simon is the DM. Beautiful. Ah, uh, this, this episode is going to have a lot of cuts. <laughs> okay, dokie, make your offer. Whilst you can. One yeah. cup of peace. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I have some, some jewels. Um, I'll be uh, back in a minute, by the way. Are these beautiful... I think this is a coral? I have quite a set of these. You could perhaps trade these for your potions. I have six corals worth a hundred apiece. Okie dokie, he will look over them. And what are you wanting to trade them for? Your your sales pitch of the giant strength is uh, quite impressive. It intrigues me. We only have one of those in stock. But I'll take the six gems for the one, if you would like. Hmm. Do you have any any lesser potions that you would toss in as part of the deal? Hmm. Uh, do, 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 for me a moment. I could throw in a potion or two of resistance as well. <laughs> uh, you gain resistance to one type of damage for an hour. I'll make you roll for it then. To one type of damage? Yes. Cool. Mm. Two of these, control. you say? Uh, yes, two of them. <coughs> Yes, I, th I think I may have come across this particular brew before. This is very useful in a fight. I think I think I may, we may have ourselves a deal, sir. Very well then. He holds out his hands for the gems. Oh, turn them over. Okie dokie, so mark off six of your coral gems. And he'll hand you over the potions, and they'll rummage underneath the counter and pull up one of the giant strength. Might actually have undersold you. You might have got quite a good deal there. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Likewise. Uh, please do come by again. I'll see what I can do about getting another giant shrimp potion stocked for you, if you would like another one. I'll, I'll make sure not to not to use this one too quickly. <laughs> how many how many uses of this? Is it just the singular? Just the one use? Uh, yes, it'll just be singular for each of them. As expected. It should last you for a, you know, a good hour. It'll get you through most trouble. I can certainly count on it. You have a good day, sir. Let's have a good day as well. I'll I'll, uh, I'll just go and hang out outside. I'm not sure you guys want to do something. Uh, what should I no, put? Probably not outside. The resistance. Should I just pick any random damage type, just so it's in my inventory? Um. Just as a resistance for each damage type. I don't see one. It's just blank. Considering resistance. having you roll for it, I've got a d10 table. But I'll let you pick the resistant type now. Ooh. Two. Yeah, acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, poison, psychic, radiant, thunder. Are they both for this both the same type? I'll let you pick one of each. Or one of two different ones, should I? Ooh. That'd be nice. Uh, Snap with the crackers. I'll pick uh, I'll one poison and one lightning. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, putting your notes, just basically one is one and one is the other. Oh, I, I when I just I searched potion of resistance, it came up with like one for each. Ah, oh, right, fair enough. So that's why I was asking. Like, should I just add random ones? Or... So yeah, I have. Yeah, I have that. Awesome. Anybody else want to do anything? Uh, 
Uh, Nagrax will finally chime up. Uh, I would like to have a look for uh, uh, for armor, if, if that's okay with you both. Oh, certainly. Um, is there an armor smith in this part of town, do or would this kind of be going more towards the spire? Yeah, there are a lot of merchants selling armor. Okay, uh, Nagrax would like to just go to the nearest, and he just wants to inquire as to what's available. Okay, okay. Uh, what armor are you, are you wearing right now? Uh, at the moment, I am wearing scale mail. Oh, that's not bad. Also, have a, a shield like you. Uh, you see a lot of basic shield, leather armors. Um, just trying to get a second thing up one second. Uh, you see a few adamant type, uh, sets of armor. Uh, uh, adamant chainmail, adamant blast plates. Okay. Uh, these catch Nagrax's eye. I assume there's a pot shop key there? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, okay. Ah, yes. Good Good morning. Um, I'm... The armor over there on the wall points to the adamantite stuff uh, has caught my attention. Uh, could you tell me more about it? He looks over towards this. Oh, which one are you interested in? Uh, you want the chainmail? You want the breastplates? You want the half plates? Hmm. Uh, Nagrax uh, kind of thinks on that. I don't know what bonuses. Out of character, do not show what bonuses they would confer. Um. I have uh oh, I'm assuming you have it up. Scale mail is a AC fourteen. Uh the Adamant Bless plate is AC fourteen and you can't be crit against. This is the main feature of Adamite. Ad Adamantine or whatever it is. How about the half plate? Uh AC of fifteen and again you can't be crit against, it just becomes a normal hit. Okay. I can't wear that on the defense level. Nagrax will comment, uh, inquire about the half plate first. He is guarded because he thinks it might be out of his price range, but will inquire anyway. Um, okay. Uh, actually, I might be just about in it. It'll, it looks it up and down, looks you up and down. That will run you about 600 gold. Hmm. Agrax kind of thinks he's he's about a third of the way there, <laughs> as it stands. Uh, he uh, he thinks on this for a moment, uh, rifles for his bag, uh, to see if there's anything at all he could uh, parlay with. Uh, ultimately, doesn't really find anything, and he says, uh, how about uh, the breastplates? Breastplates, I'll have that run about 400. Okay. Uh, it's still a bit too much for him. Uh, in that case, Nagrax will inquire about... Uh, in fact, uh, before he does anything... yeah, Actually, yeah. He'll inquire about uh, shields as well. Are there any bucklers that look better to be... better than the one he's holding? It's uh, plus two right now. Uh, your shield's plus two, was it? Uh, no, the shield I've got is... Oh, sorry, no, the shield is plus two to AC, it's just a regular shield. Alright. Um, uh, you look through them, the various words, and you find... Do, 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 do. Um, mostly just standard shields. Um, but you do notice, uh, there are a couple of shields that look a little bit better. He points them out to you, and they cost a thousand each. They cost a thousand each. Oof. Okay. Uh, in that case, Nagrax will approach the counter again. He'll just say, I'm also here uh, shopping for a compatriot of mine. We have, uh, he's not with us at the moment. He 
he tends to not wear that much uh, armor into battle. Tends to fight uh, close quarters. Do you have any uh, any armor that might be suitable for him that can bolster his abilities in combat? Oh, what type of a um, fighter is he? He tends to fight with his fists. He uses a quarter staff. Uh, I can't think there's anything in particular that I honestly have that would probably help him out. Then, fights with his fists a lot. He needs to move around. Um, is he a monk by chance? Yes, yes. I I think that would probably fit his fighting style quite well. Uh, I, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to give him armor in that case. Uh, they tend to manage to bolster themselves somehow without armor. Putting on armor actually tends to drag them down normally. I, I, uh, admittedly, I don't know too much. I was, uh, I was just trying to find if there was any way I could uh, uh, bolster him in a in combat. I don't suppose you would know of anybody who would be able to sell anything that could help enhance uh, a monk's abilities around these parts, would you? Ah, uh, truth be told. I can't really think too much of anything that will be of that much use. Okay. Uh, I believe that there might be a few enchanting shops, but they're going to be rather pricey. And based right. on your reaction to the plate, I don't imagine you're going to be able to afford what they offer. Uh, no, Grax uh, throws his brow slightly. Um, just uh, says, unfortunately, uh, the armor is uh, tied out to my price range for the time being, but. Uh, in the near future, hopefully, I will have enough to uh, to meet your offer. Uh, apologies and a uh, good good day, sir. Good day. To you too. Uh, as we leave, I'll just give him two gold and say thanks for the time and information in Dwarvish. I, w I was uh, I'm sort of like looking over the chain mail. You say you had chain mail. Uh, yes, it was Adamite Chainmail. Uh, Let's get one back up for it. Uh, yeah, that was an AC-16. Yes. It's what I have yep. already. Uh, yes, that will uh, run you uh, 600 gold. Like the half plates. Hmm. Interesting. I'll definitely be back for that. Ah, oh, excellent. Be careful, though. Prices you... might go up. <laughs> do you make anything else? Do you work your metal in any other ways? I don't tend to make it. I tend to just sell it. Ah. Could you point us in the direction of any uh, any blacksmiths around here? Uh, if you go over towards the uh, trade districts, you might be able to find a few blacksmiths over there. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, have a pleasant day. Okay, then now as we're leaving, I'd like to say thanks for the time and information. Thank you, McConnell. Yep. He thanks you back. In, and in to <laughs> okay, Dougie, so what do you guys do now? At least he didn't hit us with a stick. <sighs> yes, indeed. Oh, sorry, did you want to be hit with a stick? One second. No, 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 thank no, you. Thank you. <laughs> I want to go try and find. I don't know if I'm specifically looking for a blacksmith or some other kind of store. Uh, what is it you're looking to do? Bag of caltrips. Bag of caltrips. I figure it's made of metal. Yeah, go to a blacksmith for that. Yeah, that'd probably sound about right. Can't kill the metal. Yep. Blacksmith, just yep, yep, yep. Yep, just building pages, yep, just bear with me. <laughs> Why is the room always gone? An empty I'll just outright right say that you managed to find a blacksmith and yeah, they'll offer you uh they can offer you several bags of them. How much would you like to buy? Mm, buy four. Okay, okay. Uh, that'll be four gold pieces. 
Outstanding. And what do you guys have planned next? Uh, I think Nagarak said mentioned this last time. He wants to go back to, I believe, one of the shops by the Spire Soul Distraction Rocks. Ah, yes, Distraction Rocks. Good idea there, Nagarak. Could do some of those myself. I believe it might have been the enchantment shop, if I remember right. But you generally sold them in the market stalls as well, anyway. Okay, uh, Nagarak will just go to whoever the nearest vendor of Distraction Rocks is relative to where he is. You can buy sets of ten or a silver. So, uh, yeah, Nagrax will hand that over. Okie dokie. Uh, I'd also like to buy a set of ten. Okie dokie. I'll, uh, <laughs> while we're walking, I'll hand off the other two a bag of caltrips each. They're very useful tools. I, this, I heard the scouts in our company used to use these for escape. Quite useful. What are caltrops, uh, by the way, off just so I can point the notes? What they caltrops, do. It's, it's an item, so you can yeah. look it up. Do you know the point of things? In oh, so you can, I can look them. Ah, oh, so it's something yeah, I can yeah, search. Things, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'll give you two a bag, and I guess I'll keep one for Finia when we find it. Is the lock of distraction the cost of item? Um, how many caltrops are in the bag? It's a bag of 20. It's a bag of 20, okay, just making sure. I know you do not throw them one at a time. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> God, I shouldn't have said that, I should have let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read the description anyway. I'm assuming you can throw as many as you want. The oh, yeah, description yeah, just yeah, sort yeah, of says yeah. you toss the entire bag, so I'm like, why give us a number then? What the fuck? <laughs> Stick it specifically to the foot when it's raised. <laughs> uh, so, what are you guys doing? Uh, when the blacksmith mentioned uh, when I was asking about things for Finian, that where did he say to go? Like the trade district for enchantments? I uh, know when you were speaking to the vendor, he but said that you didn't really have anything to offer. That was Simeon asking about uh, blacksmith for the caltrips. All oh, right, I I thought they mentioned like there'd be some sort of enchantments helpful for Finian from the trade district, or no, that I was meant uh, things like enchanted items for that. Enchanted items. Okay. Um, nothing in particular. Particular Nagrax wants to do right now. If the day panned out a bit differently, there might have been, but as he is, um, he's a bit distracted. What do you do? You do break dancing? Um, if, yes. there's, if there's no objections, Nagrax would probably go back to the guild hall. I guess so. Of course, I'd like to prepare a new spell I've been working on. I was saying, assume that you just prepared all your stuff early before leaving, when you woke up. Yeah, yeah I don't have any components till now. Alright, fair enough, yeah. Okay, when you guys make your way back, when you go up to the room, uh, Finian will be sat there on the bed that he uses. Uh, Nigrex won't talk to him right now i think he kind of gets so he wants his space so what he'll do instead is he will actually go down to the job board and see what's available uh, as you look over the job board there's just a lot of simple kill quests kill so many goblins uh, there's no one for getting basket of skies uh things along those lines is uh is Serna at the front desk still or she is yes Serna. How was your oh. day going? Good afternoon. Um, it's been going pleasantly, you know, after all the action last night. Yes, that was, that was quite a scuffle. <laughs> Very impressive. Those those vines. I did not know you held such capabilities. Uh, yeah, I, I'm part of a guild. Um, I can do my I can just pull my weight. She kind of shuffles her shoulders and stands a bit taller. Oh, I'm sure I'd love to fight alongside you one day. <laughs> I 
careful. I get a bit burrish at times. <laughs> sort of laugh that off. I have, a, I have a question about uh, guild mm, freedom. Uh, go ahead. When we're not on jobs, are we free to do as we please? Go where we please? Uh, yes, of course. Um, if you're traveling for a while, we, of course we like to know, so we can know when to expect you back. If you're going to be gone for a while, there's a good chance your room will go. Um, oh, that, that's no problem. I, I may have business in the capital at some time in the near future. Okay, well, when you're leaving, uh, make sure to inform us and we'll see what we can arrange. Um, which capital is it? There's several major cities, so... <laughs> what was the capital you mentioned? Uh, Faun, it was Faun. Faun and... uh, I have business in the city of Faun. Ah, Faun. Are you uh, going dragon hunting? Potentially. <laughs> well, that's definitely a place to do it. Um, ah, okay then. So you'll be gone for at least um, yeah, about a month then in that case. Uh, I'm assuming you'll probably be going by horse and cart, so... Just give us a heads up whenever you're preparing to leave and we'll... Well, we'll be sure to let the guildmaster be aware. We Excellent. do have another guild hall as well, actually, in uh, Falun. So maybe I'll meet up with them, potentially do some uh, jobs for them. What rank do they offer? Uh, say again, sorry? What rank do they offer? Oh, they rank everything from E like us all the way up to S. Though S quests don't exactly come off very often. It's why we don't tend to include them in the ranking scale. But given it is a major city, we... They do offer them occasionally because the king will put out some kind of very, very, very dangerous quest. We don't actually have anyone qualified other than the guild masters for those types of quests, but still. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Sarah. You enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, uh, you too. She settles behind the desk and she starts eating a bit of cake. As we're walking back to this table, I'm guessing I'd like to speak with Simeon. You oh, Simeon, I've been meaning to speak to you about something. What is it? Would Bracken be okay with us taking the Ham Hand's name? I don't see why not. As far as I was aware, the company was finished. And I'm sure he feels the same. I don't think he would have any problem with it. He treated me like a son. So it would be nice to get his blessing. I I agree. I assume that's why you want to go to the capital. Yes. Yes, I do have business. I thought him dead. Yes. To hear him, I mean, not only alive. But... So you'll certainly have my support. Like, pack him on the ship. I'll, uh, to credit a handshake. God damn it. Thank you for that, my friend. I will repay your kindness. Any troubles you have, I will be there. Mm, Is it Nagrax that was checking the jobs on the board? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was kind of just listening to the conversation. I was just... I think what Nagrax was doing is just basically seeing if there was anything to do with... The, the cult before you guys interjected, but hearing about Faun, I think Nygrax was aware of everything that happened with uh, the Hammerhands, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I think... A little bit pieces you weren't there for, but you got the... Yeah, I think I, I think I got the the gist. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Nygrax will just uh, interject and just say, I appreciate that you promised to help me with my predicament, and, well, my opinion is still the same regarding yours. If you need my assistance, I will help you. I'll go for the Predator handshake with Nagrax again. Uh, Nagrax uh, winces slightly, but takes it. I appreciate that, my friend. We're all commands at arms. We all help each other. Speaking of comrades, let's go find Finian. Um, as you say that, um, I say, you may... 
want to talk to him with without me. I think I've caused the lad uh, a quite a bit of distress. So I'll I'll stay here for the time being. Fair enough. Thanks. Get the rounds in. Uh, Nagrax um, will oblige. I can't. You can't remember what people usually drink, though. <laughs> Surprises, Nagrax. Surprises. Uh, Nagrax turns out to the barkeeper and he just kind of goes, yeah. uh, four drinks? Uh, right. he, looks, he says quizzically into the barkeep, not knowing the name of the drinks that you're buying. Give you four waters. <laughs> ah. Th thank you. These these look wonderful, actually. Nagrax uh, gulps the water, huh? Hey, you pull, 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 pull. No, not all four. No, it just uh, just says, just says. Okay, okay. Right, uh, you two. What do you you two going up towards Finian? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you go upstairs, you enter into the room and you see him sat hugging his knees on the bed. Do uh, is he meditating? Uh, no, he's just kind of. Looking out a window. I just like sit next to him, trying to speak in a comforting, Alvis sort of tone. It's like, "Finny and Maddie, you okay?" I'll, I'll be okay. I'm used to it. The guy we met was he your brother? Cousin. Cousin. No. It's part of my family's guild. That's quite a set of arms you had there. <laughs> Tossed me around like nothing. I fear for the day that you have such that ability. <laughs> yeah, Finian's shoulders drop as you mentioned this. Come on, yeah. I don't mean to drop your confidence. Go back to speaking to do that a decade ago. Time does not matter. You think I you think I was born with my abilities from birth? No. My family are. I'm sure you were as well, lad. There's no problem. There's no shame in being a late bloomer. I've seen what you can do. It is impressive, for certain. Now here. He's still clutching a parcel to his chest. I bring you a present. Not really something beautiful or wonderful. Just functional on the battlefield. He looks them. Looks over the bag. You ever used these before? Hmm. No. Be handy for getting yourselves out of a tight spot. There you are. You'll I'll, pick I'll up one of the caltrips. One of the bag of caltrips. <laughs> You'll pick it up in his hands. Look at the caltrips. Do you throw them at the eyes? No, I I'm not 100 percent familiar with with these myself. I've only seen them from from the scouts of our company. You toss them on the ground. Very, very painful to step on, let me tell, let me assure you. It was uh, Talking from experience there? Yes, it was quite the the uh, the jovial prank <laughs> among the among, among the company. They would place them uh, outside of your of your cot. You stand on that in the morning. <laughs> it's not pleasant, I tell you. Toss He's them on the ground. The, very sharp. Uh Indeed. Jovial. Whoops. Oh, oh, I, oh, I clicked the wrong one, sorry. I, was, I meant to remove some from my bag and I accidentally clicked cut uh, <laughs> Dion Spenny. Removed all of them. Why did it do that? <laughs> okay. He um, right, adds that into his bag. And he lifts up the package that he had been clutching to him. I need to. That, right? Where's Grex? Yeah. He's, he's, he's out there a drink. He's getting our drinks ready. Yeah, he's never drunk before. I'd be interested to see what he's got us. Or before we met. Before we joined the guild. Start my line again. He, he's never drunk before he joined the guild. It'd be interesting to see what drinks he gets us. Uh, Flint will stand up 
I'm just going to go down and speak to him. Right. And with that, he'll go downstairs and join Nagrax. Okay. Okay, uh, Nagrax is there with three waters. I'll, uh... Um, I'll nudge Flint. Come, let us see what insane beverage Nagrax has for us. I can't wait. <laughs> I walk down and see the water as well. You, where are the drinks? I, I asked for drinks, and this is what, this is the, the, the drinks they brought <laughs> over. A great jest, now, cracks. A great jest. <laughs> are we bringing our horses in for a drink? <laughs> I don't understand what this is. This is water. Is brown. Wait, wait, it, it, it is. It looks muddy. Um, I. D d they are drinks, uh, uh, aren't they? It's muddy water. Um, Nagrax kind of just thinks he downed his muddy water in one. Oh, no. Do I need to make a con save, dude? <laughs> Roll for this one, sir. Nagrax, upon Finian sort of saying this, sort of, uh, uh, um, I'm I'm really sorry. I I I I'll ask the the barkeep for a uh, barkeep. Um, what what did you what did you give us? I I thought is this not water? Ah yeah, that, that's water from the well. It's gotten a bit muddy since all the rain. I I see. Uh, um, do you happen to have a, a, anything else? Oh yeah, we got a uh, horse manure. We got uh, what was it? A flaming piss. Sheep diary. Sheep diarrhea. Ah, yes, of course, a sheep diarrhea. It's meant to be strong, that one. Uh, Nagrax turns back and he just kind of looks to see what the preference is. Like, he'll buy the round. Okie dokie. Uh, how much will that cost him? Uh, let's throw silver. Actually, no, it wasn't even silver, was it? Just, uh, let's say eight copper. Eight copper, okay. Um, once you've done that, when you all settle down, uh, Finian will put his parcel onto the table. Uh, I'm sorry, Nagrax. I didn't mean to. Uh, I, I didn't mean to push you away. And I, I know you just mean well. Uh, Nagrax uh, just uh, smiles and he just says, "Finian, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I, I wasn't in my right." mind last night, so I probably need to have a conversation with you at uh, another point to explain my actions, but I... <sighs> sorry, I, I was just... I was just worried about you. I'm sorry. He starts to unwrap the package, and inside there are uh, three, um, I'm going to say, fingertip to elbow uh, glass short swords. I used some of my money to get these. Um, have you seen them before? Um, have I seen them before? Are you just addressing all of us too? Um, asking in character. No, I I can't say I have. I'm I'm not familiar with many weapons aside from. Uh, from I will say have a simian roll intelligence. See if you know what they are. Mm. Oh, I think I might have seen them in a book before, but it's not. I'm looking at a skill. It's not a skill. Let me see if these actually are a thing first. Yep. Okay. Um, no, you don't know what they are. They just look like very brittle swords to you. Um, Can I, I? Do you mind? I'd like to uh, pick one up. Another one. Just don't smash it. I kind of really? just lean out of the way so you can uh, pick the swords or piff the next to me. Um, I haven't seen this this woodcraft before. What are they? What is it? Uh, you can place magic inside them. When you strike with it, it'll shatter the sword, but it'll unleash the spells that have been put into it. Uh, oh. These can hold uh, four spells. Oh. Um, Nagrax uh, will pick it up and he said that is very good 
thinking, Finian, that I could, yes, I, I could imagine it in combat, especially when we're in a situation like the other night, we could store spells inside of these weapons to use if we ever find ourselves in a scenario again where we are completely out. I mean, this these could genuinely save our lives. This is very, very good thinking. Uh, general rule for these, um, you can you can basically put in a spell of any kind of a, a proper attack spell, not like an, a condition effect spell. Uh, so, mm -hmm. for instance, uh, Thunderbolts, uh, uh, not Firebolt, because it's a cantra. How about Guiding Bolt? Um, does it require a spell slot? Guiding Bolt does, yeah. Yep, then you can put that into it. So basically, is it a spell of any spell slot level? Uh, yes. I know going as its base level, you can't put it as a higher level. What if, like, uh, how about Fireball? Would that work? I mean, Fireball? I... Yes. Okay. How about uh, healing spells? I'm guessing that would uh, work. No. Stab them and make them better. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Does so... it have to be a damaging spell? Uh, it be... Yes, it can't be like a sleep spell, for instance. Uh, I know These a few handy spells I could help infuse into these if anyone needs assistance with that. You can use scrolls to infuse the scroll into it if you wish. Got two scrolls left. Yeah, so... Oh, that's just and uh, by way, infusing a spell into it will take up a spell slot. Okay. okay. Uh, is the one for each of us, just so you do? Yes. What was the item called again? Is this a custom item? It's a custom item, just uh, call it Glass Sword, uh, 4 empty charge. Okay, Glass Sword... And it is a single use item. Single use, 4 charges, okay. So just... So like, let's say, for example, I stored 4 Guiding Bolts in it. Would that... You would hit 4 Guiding Bolts if you got the, a successful hit with a weapon. Would you... If you miss with a weapon, it would not break it, unless, for instance, you got a nat 1. So, like, if you hit it, would if you hit with the weapon, would you have to? You don't like, need to roll attacks. You don't have to roll just attacks each. Hit. It just hits. Okay, yep. awesome. Okay, that makes sense. You uh, have to roll an attack with the sword itself. What yep. if you miss? If you just miss, you just miss. Unless you get an oh, brilliant. You get an at one, then you might be fireballing yourself. Oh, oh, beside you. Oh, oh, you, oh, you think I'm going to put a fireball oh, on the god. sword? Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I expect it. No. <laughs> I can see that going very, very wrong. I'm mm -hmm. guessing... Cause if you do it in particular, it probably won't be an issue, because you can use your evocation thing. I mean, to be fair, if he was using his what evocation, it? like, he could make, like, several allies, I mean, from it as well. Well, only for his own attacks, though. For instance, if Nagrax attacks with his, with fireballs inside it, I'd probably make you do a deck save to make sure you... Yeah, because it would be flames. So that, but I meant if Flame was doing the attack with his yeah, fireballs flames, inside it. would be fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 cool. But, um... Yeah, just backing cards so now we kind of understand. I mean, you guys don't going. actually know I can do fireball at the moment, right? Uh, no, in I'm not saying this in character. I'm just mm. discussing it out to character, but... Uh, anyway, yeah, Nagrax, um... Sort of is just saying to Finn, you know, you see, it's like the tactical merits of it, and you know, it's really good thinking considering, you know, the situation the other night. And so, I think you sort of like this will stand us in really good stead should we find ourselves in a situation like that again. Really good work. Again, if anyone needs help infusing spells, I have a few handy at my disposal. I also have some that might be quite helpful. Um, I have uh, one of my abilities uh, allows sort of any person who attacks uh, after me for a short while will be able to get a much better hit on somebody. We could really turn the tide of a battle with items like these. I don't think that would apply to this weapon. It would because it is an attack spell. It's just an extra effect that the attack has. I mean, also Nigrax is kind of saying this based on his understanding of spells. So. Do we have to do all four charges at once? We can do them whatever you like. I mean, I'm going to assume you don't have 12 slots, yeah. 
thought it was only four charges. Yeah, three swords. Did it, I was talking about for myself. All right. Oh, is it not four charges per sword? You can put, yeah. place four spells into the sword. Whenever you use a sword, you use it whatever's inside it. Whether it's full or not. When you charge the swords, oh. how long do the charges stay? Is it like once you've infused the spell, it's permanent? I'd probably so, say that maybe it might defuse after a month. After a month. So we could probably just charge these whenever then, based on that. You say it's single use, so if it's got four spells on it... It would shatter. It when you use it, you shatter the sword. It uses anything that's inside it. On four spells at once. Oof. Yeah, that that could potentially be devastating. I'm assuming mm -hmm. you. I'm assuming it doesn't have to be the <laughs> same spell four times. It can be if you want. It doesn't have to be. I mean, like you can have some variety with it. Oh, oh, this might be fun. Oh, there's actually one spell that I can <laughs> see here, which would be nice. Uh, my inflict. Uh, if I did my inflict wounds at uh, level three, that would be yeah, five. So at its base level for the spell. Yeah. Oh, it has to be his base level. Uh, yeah. Right, to be fair, that would still be 3d10. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, um, Polly should go back into character. Yep. Are any other questions about them before we move on, though? Uh, no, I mean, I think we understand, and uh, Nagrax is just, you know, basically saying thank you. Okay. Yes, thank you for me. This should be a great gift. This is most generous, I'm glad. I could only afford three, it kind of took all my money I kind of saved up. But, we'll get more. That we will, lad, that we will. Also, if you need any additional funds, be, free. be sure to ask. I will, thanks. Uh, no, Grax doesn't say anything further. Mm. Have we had anyone check out the dagger yet? The virtual dagger, you mean? Yeah. Um, I think I inspected it like when we first acquired it. Mm. But no, Nagrax hasn't done anything with it since then, just because it, a lot of other things have been happening. But he's still carrying it in his pouch, so do I notice something? I don't know, everything still seems to be exactly the way it was. Nothing different as far as you can tell. Uh, okay, I mean, I don't think Nagrox would think to do anything with it right now, if I'm being honest. So what are you guys going to do then? Um, Nagrox uh, will... Uh, as, uh, Simon, did you tell Finian about Faun? When you went up to see him, I can't remember what you guy said. No. Okay. Uh, now Greg's will kind of just uh, basically start saying, uh, uh, whilst uh, before we came and got you, uh, Simeon asked if we could have a leave of absence to go to found to uh, to help his uh, f former master uh, Bracken. We've pledged to go with him. I uh, I assume that you would like to join us in this venture? Uh, yeah, I'd be here to go when you guys go. It'd be a grand adventure, lad. <laughs> but uh, there may be a misunderstanding. I don't mean to go immediately. Seems there are many problems here that need solving first. Do not wish to leave and come back to find this, the guild in ruin. Considering what we saw last night, that is a rather distinct possibility, considering that we were only at Hogswine for a few days. Are we still in the original room that we started in? Uh, yes, you are. Alrighty then. Uh, <clears throat> Nagrax will sort of also mention I looked at the job board uh, when we came back in. There doesn't seem to be anything to do with the cult, but uh, more quests and aspire, but things that we have addressed before. I I don't know. I mean, if I feel that we can't, we have to do something about this. They they were on our doorstep last night. 
We, we don't know the cult was involved for certain, though. No, no, Flint, you're correct. Not directly, but the actions that we saw the crowd take, they've been encouraging this violence towards them. They didn't lead the attack last night, but the people are wild to an absurd degree. I mean, I've advocated so far that we don't interfere with quests above our station, but I, I don't know. What, what are your collective thoughts? Uh, Finian will speak up. Should we go to Valen's means? Uh, sorry, Dan, could you repeat that? Should we go to Velen's things? Yes, yes. yes. I <laughs> yes, I think that would be quite uh, a good idea, Finian. Um, what time is it actually, do? Currently, it's ten past one. Oh, so quite early in the day. <laughs> uh, uh, no, um... just the so <laughs> God damn it, dude. No, in. <laughs> In the universe that we're playing in, not, not real life. I'm, I mean, I'm aware it's, it's going to be possible. about 3 p.m. Okay, awesome. Right, so. Uh... <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have time to prepare my spells? I'd say at some point during this. I mean, you've just done it. You I would. I meditated okay. this morning. So well, these are talking. I'm quite um, sad about these spells. You're not listening at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. What, 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 what? <laughs> uh, Nagrax um, will take um, Finian's suggestion and um, go to, I believe, Velen's shops in the trade district, right? Yes, it is. Right. Uh, he waits to see if anyone else uh, mm. wants to accompany him. I'm just there, like, studying my book or whatever wizards do to prepare the spells. Uh -huh, I think. Uh -huh. Yes, Marjorie. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, should we take out the ball of back one and so far? Uh, Made earlier. Um, Put it on. Lick it to yeah. prepare it. Yep. Um, yeah, a little stiff. Flint, uh, oh. what what are you doing? Oh, oh sorry. Oh, class book. Just preparing a few spells. Uh, what are uh, we doing? I see. Um, considering um, we're a bit of a loss at the moment um, of what to do, uh, Finney suggested that we go and pay uh, Velen a visit. Uh, See if we can uh, get to the bottom of what happened back in Hogswine. Okay then. My um, spell book, if anyone wants to know what it looks like, is like a leather bound sort of book with a gem in the middle. Okay. Kind of imagine like a half stone board, that sort of pattern around it. Oh, okay. That looks, that'd be pretty yeah. interesting actually. Uh, yeah, Nagrax is exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> Nagrax isn't one yeah. for statics though, so he just kind of look, thinks, "Oh, that's a scaly looking book," and then proceeds to get up. The gem in the middle is my spell focus. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, I don't know if you'd be able to tell that in character, but yeah. But as I say, he's not particularly focused on it, but. Uh, how uh, long do you guys want to go for, bad boy? Uh, up to you, do my. Yeah. I don't mind. I, I wouldn't mind ending off soon, honestly. It's been. Mm -hmm. We're just over the three hour mark. Somehow. Okay, I know exactly where I'm going to end you off then. So we'll go a little bit longer now. Okay. Uh, so, unless uh, you are. Simi wants to do anything else, I'd uh, like to go to the trade districts where Valen Shop is. Okay. Uh, you guys wandering around <laughs> a little bit, but you find it easily enough. It's a uh, pleasant little shop. Nice large window out front. Uh, when you enter in, there are two people moving around. Um, there's a lot of barrels with small amounts of, like, for instance, grain displayed on top of it to demonstrate what the barrel well, contains that it's selling. Uh, along one wall, there's uh, lots of scrolls. And behind the counter, there's a lot of scrolls. Above the counter, there's a statue of the uh, god of. Uh, piece, and one of the people is behind the counter. They're both human. Uh, so Nagrax, uh, pro 
will be heal a pro. Oh, sorry, one, God. Say again, Flug. Do we recognize the Godliness statue? Oh, yeah, it's the God of Protection. I'm just about oh, to say. Sorry. Well, we saw the shot of Yadrin, didn't we? Yeah. So. A woman uh, in breastplate with two maces, one uh, by her side. She's kneeling, arm outstretched, holding the other one clutched in her hand. So I put God of Peace in there. I'm going to come up with Elder again. Yeah, it's God of Elder. Oh, Elder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nagrax will approach the counter and he will ask. Uh, in fact, does he see anyone that resembles Velen to him? Uh, no. Right. Uh, okay. He'll approach the counter and he'll just uh, say, "Ah, excuse me. Um, good afternoon. Um, does is Velen happen to be here at the moment?" Ah, hello there. Um. Velen isn't here. He's going to be back quite soon, though. He's been on a little bit of adventure, but he should have arrived in town by now. I don't imagine it'd be too long. Well, what can we do you for? Um, sort of, me and uh, my compatriots uh, just have something that we would like to tell him. Uh, we, some business uh, concerning uh, one of our recent expeditions. We thought it would be of interest to him. Oh, uh, sure thing. Um... Uh, hey, probably will be a few minutes. Uh, can I interest you in browsing our scrolls? Uh, Nagrax will do so, yeah. And guess what? So, what scrolls are these? Uh, they are fairly simple uh, spell scrolls. Uh, well, they'll normally cost about 25 gold apiece. Um, we've got some basic attack scrolls, some buffing scrolls. Um, uh, what sort of things are you after? Or would it interest you, I should say? Uh, Nagrax will say, I would like to have a look at uh, anything that concerns uh, buffing or healing, uh, just to help bolster my own abilities. Oh, um, let's see, we've got Bless Scrolls, there's uh, Cure Wounds Scrolls, Lesser Restoration, um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Basically, the scrolls are all low level scrolls, spells. Okay. If you think of a spell, there's a scroll for it there. Uh, so the blessed scroll. Would, so like, would these be like the equivalents of casting a level one version of that spell? Yes. Okay. Uh, Nagrax, out of the options that you presented, is probably most interested in the blessed scrolls. Okie dokie. So yeah, the, all the level one spells are twenty five gold each. Twenty five gold each. Uh, okay. I'd say that Nagrax might will buy. Uh, yeah, you'll probably buy just one uh, Bless Skull. Okie dokie. Uh, got for over 25 gold? Uh, yeah, I'm just a dot that now. Okie dokie. Are there any evocation spells in these scrolls? If there's a level 1 spell, it's an evocation spell, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're just a blanket level 1 spells. Just basically level one spells with the scrolls. I believe cure wounds is evocation, oddly enough. You wouldn't think that. But, you know. No, you yeah. don't. Let me double check that. By the way, when you're using a scroll, it doesn't matter with the spell type. I know, I know. Yeah, it was just. Alright, let's make sure. Yeah, it is. That's bizarre. This could take a while, you guys make conversation. But I'm looking over the spell scores. Uh, Nigrax doesn't really have anything he wants to do or say for the moment. He's just waiting for Valon to arrive. Uh, Finian is looking over through the scrolls. He points out a chromatic orb. Uh, would they not be useful for you? Put into the uh, swords? 
Yeah, pretty versatile spell, Glatacob. You know what, for me, that it's a very good call. I'd add like Dramatic Orb. Hmm. Is Ice Knife a level 1 spell? Uh, do, do, do. What does it say? Oh. I don't know, I think I want the Ice Knife as a spell, I just can't remember what level it is. I'm not checking my handbook, it'll be easy to actually check in in this level. Good. So I guess I would like a chromatic cob scroll and a ice knife scroll, please. Oh, okay. Um, that'll be 50 gold, please. Of course. Um, I have two scrolls on my hand that I don't need to choose by them off. Maybe reduce the price a bit for these. Thank you, Dan. Oh, my uh, What are the spells? I've got Tiny Hut and True Strike, I believe. Yes. Uh, I could give you 15 gold for the Tiny Huts. Uh, the True Strike, I'll... Give you a silver. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course, that seems fair. Uh, do you accept those prices? I do. Okie dokie. I'll say, you just uh, don't bother calculating the silver piece, just add one silver piece. <laughs> so you say 15 gold off the cost, so that will be 35. And I hand over 35 gold. Okie dokie. Pleasure doing business with you. Ah, oh, yes, likewise. Yeah, uh, Simeon, do you have anything? I have to remember this place in future. I'll just say, like, in my hand. Uh, there are possible spells I'd want, yes, but that would be me metagaming a little bit since I don't know much about magic. Yeah, well, you're familiar with combat. You've been around people, so... I think you want to give us something a try. always got me. Oh no, I didn't really think about it. I was going to think about it off stream. Off, uh, off <laughs> <session. laughs> Stall for time. Another time. Uh, I think it's last dance. Are you okay there, lad? He said stall. Help. Oh, Finian, is that a random elvish dance you've just said to perform for us? Uh, yes, it's the dance of um, love. I can't is say this I've, dance? I've never seen this before. It looks what wondrous. Side to side, side to side, cross thrusting his hips, side to side, side to side, thrusting his hips. I'm assuming the four, spell four. level can only be uh, what we oh, currently yeah. have. Yeah. It, so I can't actually, be you could buy uh, higher level scrolls, but the costs do increase. Can't be slapping no eighth level spells on this. I mean, you could. If you have the cult. <laughs> yeah, oh, if God. I have like 10,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop time scroll, please. Okay, 20,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. So, uh, yes, I'd like to uh, scroll up to resur true resurrection, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, do you happen to have a, a finger of death scroll? A finger of doom scroll? Yeah, I would imagine they would, they would have that. I don't leave secret tattoo soon. 
That's how, that. That's how I'm imagining that would go. Specifically, it has an astral Kakashi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just to clarify, Nagrax is just waiting for Valent to arrive, so yeah. he's not doing anything else. Wait to see if Simeon uh, is going to want anything or not. Yeah, so just clarifying. So it has to be a directly damaging spell. It can't be like something that sets up something that would do damage later. I uh, know. Cool. It can have alternate effects, for instance, if it was like a Sinek Blast. Uh, when that hits, it has a chance of knocking someone pro. Oh, and you've got like Guiding Bolts, which can give advantage to attack rolls afterwards, but it also does damage when it hits. We can't, for instance, just outright impose disadvantage, and that's all it does. Or if all it does, for instance, is impose uh, poison. Yeah. It basically has to do damage in some regards, and if it has a secondary effect, you just get that as well. See? I really wasn't I'm putting me on the spot here. I don't have one spot for choice. <laughs> Don't worry, it's what I'm saying. Someone, someone trying to let me put down my scroll. If you want to just say uh, you buy one or two scrolls, just hand over the gold and you'll figure out the specifics later. I can do that, yeah, because I don't want to waste our time. It's a. Uh, what, you're buying two scrolls then? Sure. Okie dokie, uh, 50 gold. Excellent. Okie dokie. And I'm assuming that's everyone done then? Yep. Okay, so a little bit of time passes, and uh, Half Elf uh, walks through the doorway. He looks around briefly and then walks over to the counter. Ah, good evening. Uh, here you go. He takes off a rucksack and puts it on the counter. Uh, they're the new scrolls. Um, hopefully you'll... Well, hopefully someone will buy them quite quickly, I hope. <laughs> um, uh, what can I help you patrons with? He turns around and looks at you all. You are Valen, correct? Ah, yes. Uh, this is my establishment. Ah, yes. Very good. Um, we had some business starting. Uh, me and my compatriots had some business done in uh, Hogswine recently, uh, concerning uh, uh, concerning uh, the Fallane family. Uh, a job from uh, a family butler, Fillion. I believe he you. He looks sad. As you say this, ah yes, um, I used to know them quite well. I was uh, quite fond of the father who lived there. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I just want to... Never mind. Um, uh, ah, my shop keeps... Uh, oh, they know me well. There's nothing really that needs to be discussed in private, is there? Um, as Valen says this and also his uh, prior reaction, can I see if he appears to be genuine or whether this is just an elaborate ruse? Insight. Insight, yeah. This ruse was also a ruse. Seems to be genuine. Seems to be genuine. Okay. Nagrax uh, furrows his brow and he just uh, says, <clears throat> uh, I understand that you, uh, based on uh, documentation we found at the manor and from uh, Fillion's accounts, I believe you were good friends with uh, the Four Lanes uh, prior to uh, a rather unfortunate incident at the manor. Uh, yes, I had known the father there for quite some time. 
I generally used to help sell his grains to obviously the town here and some of the other surrounding towns. And we've became quite uh, good friends over about um, 20 years, I'd say, give or take. They seem to be... Oh, sorry, I got ahead. Okay, he just looked fairly aged, and like about two-thirds of his life. So he's looking older. His face is looking a bit more drawn. For a half-elf, you'd probably guess that means he's about... About 100. About 100. Because, I mean, this happened like about five, 50, dec 50 decades, bloody hell. Uh, 50 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... Um... So yeah, uh, Nagrax, so uh, we'll just continue to say, um, you'd be happy to know that uh, we recently went down to the estate and um, the manor was uh, very... It was uh, besieged by the spirits, but um, the souls uh, seem to be at peace now. Ah, yes. I, um, I went there quite early on when things... Uh, when I, I... I wish the news that things have gone badly there. Doom, as I say that he's at peace, can I see if I see any change in his reaction? Yeah, go ahead again, inside. His eyes twitch briefly, that's all you see. Just very briefly, yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to see if he's like surprised by that or not. Uh, so you continue, Doom. I went down there uh, not long after it had been made apparent that something had happened. Uh, there was some issues with uh, spectres. Um, I did help at one point to put funds towards getting some exorcists there, but they were never successful. I'm glad to see that after all this time, it's finally been well exercised then, I assume. Yes, it, that would appear to be the case. Um, you knew them quite well. I don't suppose you know anything of what happened to them. It was rather... Unfortunate to I me, mean, we exercised the ghost, but we didn't really have any notion of how they came to be that way. Roll deception with advantage. Okay. Deception with it. Sorry, uh, that's. Uh, give me a sec. That second roll better be good. I don't know what it was. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nagrax, Nagrax isn't that good at this, so yeah. Glad to give you advantage. Huh? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this isn't an easy conversation for Nagrax, so if it does show a little bit, <laughs> then that's successful. So, uh, what does he say? Um, what was it you said again? Sorry. Exactly. Um, I let me just think what it was. It was something along the lines of, um, "Do you happen to know what happened to them?" Okay. Yeah, but like, you know, we exercised it, but we have no notion of, you know, what it might have been. And again, um, I'm watching his reaction very carefully. From what I was told, it seems uh, some thieves managed to get in and kill them in the night. <sighs> um, it was awful. I don't suppose... I mean, Fillion seemed rather distraught telling us a story. I mean... Being so close to them, you don't know if they had any any enemies that have wanted to wish them any harm. Oh, there was always disputes about the land, uh, about some of the rights to some of the farms, some of the taxes. A lot of little things that could have potentially added up, I suppose. Yes, it was, it was an unfortunate affair, but... No, no, we... It was a rather taxing trial. We were there for a few days, and um, we know we were close, so I just thought you would like to know uh, about their fate. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, now, if you don't mind, I do need to be going. There's going to be a, a big service today at the Church of Eldaf. Um, I need to get going, so if you do not mind, I will see you again. Hopefully for some business. Yes, yes, I'm I'm sure that we'll pay you a visit in the future. Uh, good day. Good day, Valor. Oh, good day. And with that, you will turn and you will leave out the door. Can I 
leave after him and just not follow, but just see where he goes. See if we can see where he goes. Yeah, sure you can. Uh, how far back are you following him? Just like a decent pace? Or yeah. Close? Right. No, uh, no, no. It's close enough that it's within I'll let you know one spell check of advantage. Roll stealth with advantage. Oops, I did not mean yes. to do that just Does yet. that mean I just roll normally? Because I roll with I'll let you have advantage outright <laughs> for this. I guess that's a 15 then. Okay. Um, you follow him, and he heads towards a decently sized church that's still in the trade district. There's quite a big crowd outside of it, a lot of people in their robes for the church. He goes mm. and joins the crowd and goes inside. Are you guys with me? Um, no, no, no. Now Grax will probably stay a bit further back because he has a disadvantage on stuff, so he'll probably be towards the back of the party. But yeah, I will be following from a distance. Yeah. Same. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for him to catch up. I'll just sort of stand. Looking casual. Okay, uh, we can con we convene on your position then. He's going to the church. Hopefully, he's not in league with the uh, the zealots in there. Considering what we saw in the vision, uh, Simeon, he he was there with the executioner. His association with Aldaf is of no doubt. It was just unfortunate that we couldn't gleam who the other figure in the vision may have been. Why didn't you show me that? Uh, filed away into the church. Should we go in? I think they may know our faces. We may not be welcome there. They would probably know your face, Simeon. You did draw attention quite early on <sighs> and also never your eye are that conspicuous I mean we could try to stand at stand at the back I mean uh do if do you know the church are people kind of like stood outside of the front door could we hear anything from outside or would we There's have generally to a lot of chat so you'd have to get quite close to make out anything are there any guards outside or anything would is anyone welcome in or yeah, as far as you can tell, there's no guards. Uh, Agrax uh, just takes a moment to think. I, I'm not sure what we would stand to learn here. Um, honestly, uh, Velen didn't really seem to offer us very much, and... I don't know, maybe we stand around for a few minutes, see if there's anyone who's roughly the same. I mean, can we see anything from where we are, Doom, or would we have to be go a lot closer? You see a lot of different people in the church's robes. Maybe if we around, attend a lot of them are starting to enter. There's only a handful outside now. Uh, Nygrax will probably say in that case, maybe we don't go in today, but we try to procure a few of those robes, just so we don't risk drawing attention to ourselves. Considering what happened at the guild last night, we don't really want to bring the cult to our door again. It would uh, be Finian. worth attending a sermon Finian will to see how they act. Uh, what will Finian say? He said it was a big service. When else will there be another one? Fair point, Finian. I'm sorry, probably just uh, got on the side of caution. Uh, I'll, I suppose, uh, I'll go forward, see if there's anything I mean. going forward, uh, the last of the church goers actually enter, and the front of it is now empty. The front of what? The church? Yep. So, have we missed our chance to go in? I mean, there's no one in front. Uh, I mean, if Nagrax can go into the church, he will file in at the back. Okay then. Uh, 
Let's imagine there's doors in the center there. I forgot, forgot to put doors in. Yep. Oh, and I actually dragged you over to the map, did I? I did, yes. Yep. Okay, okay, you enter into a basically a main entrance area to the church. There's a few pews and benches and a few wall hangings against the wall, but it's fairly sparsely decorated. Uh, Finian goes up to a door over here and briefly sneaks out past it. And then comes back. Stairwell to the left. Come on. Um, yep, I'll take Finian's lead. Uh, okay, I can't move the token, by the way. Alright, yeah. Oops. I'm <laughs> It's okay. And for me for a second whilst I reveal a bunch of areas. I wish you just left this one revealed. Oh well. Uh, you guys just a little bit to the right at the moment. Uh, you are on an upper walkway that is overlooking the main uh, central chamber. Where all the benches are, uh, they are lined with people, all with the backs turned to you. No one knows that you've entered. It's okay. It's quite dimly lit with uh, braziers against the walls. And down here, you see Velen facing the entire crowd. Yeah, uh, just want to clarify, uh, not that it would probably make much difference for Nagrax, but he's deliberately, if there's anyone around him, he's not making uh, eye contact, he's just trying there to... There is no one on the upper thing. There is no one on the upper thing, okay. Um, the only thing that really seems out of place is there is a well over here. Over where, sir? It's a big, it's a big circle from the middle. <laughs> uh, so I just couldn't uh, see it on stream, I'll have to go over to roll 20. Okay. Right, and uh, anything else? Uh, Velen looks over the crowd. Greetings, my subjects. Today, we welcome a new person to our fold. That's where we end the session. What? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. What have you done? Yeah. I could keep going, but <laughs> uh, I'm I'm good to end it here. Cliffhanger. Hey, I mean to be fair, I'm pretty good one. Wow. It's Finian in it. It's Finian. <laughs> Who knows? The family betraying us. You were the chosen one, one for the shiny gifts. <laughs> You're meant to save us. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to defeat the cult, not join them. <laughs> okay, um, but uh, all joking aside with that, uh, that is the end of the session. So uh, let's just go through uh, this part. I did actually spit out your socials earlier on by accident, but uh, here you go again. Doom, so anything you would like to say before we end? Please join me on Twitch. Follow me. And do all that stuff. I'm playing Resident Evil 4 at the moment. And I am enjoying it a lot, like I knew I always would. Because it's one of my favourite games. <laughs> yep, that does seem to be going uh, quite well for you. So, um, with that, uh, let us move on to me. Um, I... 
am a person who does stuff occasionally on Twitch. Um, not really so much on YouTube, and uh, my Discord is kind of dead, but uh, here are my socials, so maybe someone can change that. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, we recently uh, got... Um, we, you probably saw the new logo in the bottom left tonight for Secrets of Nero, so we're going to be starting the up uploading um, our past sessions uh, episodically over the next uh, few weeks or so, just uh, so we can kind of get caught up with um, everything that's been shown here. And um, so it's like we've been in talks of potentially doing a a recap, or well, not a recap, like a, a discussion with uh, myself, um, uh, Simeon and Flint just to kind of discuss uh, upcoming plot events, but uh, we're still kind of working out uh, dates and times so that. So uh, that's something we may or may not be doing in the future. It just kind of depends on our schedules. But uh, anyway, moving on to uh, Zach. Uh, here is uh, Zach's socials. Hi, hi. And uh, anything you would like to say, sir? I'm just taking a break from streaming at the moment. I'm going to wait till I get a better set up. Yeah, and that's fair to enough. Right? Still need that's to... the better stream of us, that I mean, so join him. He didn't correct that mistake at all. I, I didn't correct the mistake. I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I am a, I'm a terrible person, but that is known by pretty much everybody. So uh, with that, uh, let us move on to Elf. Um, here is, oops, Daisy. There we go, it's transitioned finally. Here's Elf socials. Uh, Elf, would you like to say anything? Um, I just feel free to uh, stop in when I'm streaming, playing uh, a lot of Skyrim right now. I really, really remembering how much I enjoyed that game, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I do also mean to start getting back into the swing of YouTube uploads, so uh, look forward to those. Yeah, um, yeah, awesome. Uh, so I think uh, all in all, that is oh, go back to live scene, please. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I think everything from us tonight. Um, interesting points to be left off on again, and uh, we'll see what happens next week. I'm sure it'll be very exciting. But until then, um, it's goodbye from all of us, and uh, we shall speak to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.